Hello, and welcome to this installment of the Thorogood Associates web series about Tableau 10. This video will focus on a new feature that ships with Tableau 10, clustering. My name is Alistair Jones, and I'm a US-based business intelligence and analytics consultant at Thorogood Associates. Thorogood is a strategic alliance partner with Tableau, and was named the 2014 Alliance Partner of the Year in the EMEA region. Today we'll explore the potential the new analytics feature that was added to Tableau as part of the Tableau 10 release, clustering. Clustering is a common technique in statistical data analysis whereby data points are grouped together in such a way that objects in the same group or cluster are more similar to each other than those in other clusters. Previously, this was possible through the integration of external program add-ins such as R, but now with Tableau 10, clustering is a native feature that could be applied to any data set using Tableau's simple drag and drop functionality. It can be applied on top of any type of Tableau visualization chart type, including maps, tables, and scatterplot charts. These clustered groups can then be renamed within Tableau and saved as dimension for future use in other visualizations. Today we're going to explore applying clustering to car insurance data. Now let's flip to Tableau 10 and see clustering in action. So here is uh, Tableau 10 desktop. I've already loaded in my data model. Uh, I have a number of dimensions and uh, measures as you can see in the data pane here. What I'm interested in uh, kind of creating clusters by is uh, age and the mileage per annum, uh, creating groups around those two measures um, and then seeing if those uh, clusters have any effect on uh, the claims numbers that we're seeing. So first of all, I'll go ahead and drag uh, average age onto my columns, a mileage per annum uh, onto my rows and as you can see, uh, Tableau initiates a scatterplot chart. I'll then drag the policy holder field onto the uh, chart to give me more data points, uh, and this will be more cluster friendly. I only want to keep those data points uh, which are above zero in uh, mileage, so I'll keep only these data points. And now applying clustering is a simple, uh, as I mentioned earlier, is a, is a drag and drop procedure. So I'll select it here drag it onto the sheet. Uh, you can either determine the number of clusters that you want Tableau to create or allow it to automatically create the number of clusters it thinks is appropriate. In this case, it's created four clusters. So now that I have the uh, cluster groups created, I want to uh, save these groupings and use them as I analyze the uh, claim amounts. And saving this cluster is as simple in Tableau 10 as uh, dragging uh, clusters which is now on my marks card under color, into the data pane. It'll create a group for them. Uh, the group won't be named uh, as kind of specifically or appropriately as I'd like, but I can quickly rename it. So I'll call this age and mileage clusters. And then what I can do uh, is, is instead of having these, again, uh, relatively unfriendly names, uh, clusters one through four, I can rename the specific groups. So by doing that, I, to do that, I just right click, edit group. I can see that cluster one here seems to be younger drivers who don't drive as much. So uh, I'll rename that group as young, low mileage. Cluster two uh, seems to be medium age, low mileage. Cluster uh, three seems to be a medium age and a higher mileage. And cluster four is uh, seems to just be uh, all the drivers. And again, slightly lower mileage. So I'll indicate that in the group names. So now what I'll do is uh, proceed to a new sheet and I'll start to use this uh, group that I've created. So I'll uh, drag it onto my sheet here and expand it so that we can see the names of each of my clusters. And I can drag on the measure that is total cost of claims and start to see a little bit of information about these different um, groups. Perhaps a different chart type would be more appropriate. Um, so uh, I could use a bar chart or a tree map, and I can start to see very quickly 
that my medium age low mileage accounts for the majority of my uh, claims. Uh, young and low mileage um, is the second highest in the categories. What I'll do now quickly though is uh, convert this measure uh, from a sum to the average, so the average for those groups, and that tells a different story. So I can see that the medium age higher mileage uh, accounts for larger average claims, um, and there isn't much of a difference between the other three groups, uh, the young group, the medium age low mileage, and the older group. Um, so that in itself is quite telling that uh, mileage seems to be more related to the average claim amount um, than age. So that's a quick demonstration of how clustering uh, can be applied uh, very quickly using drag and drop functionality in Tableau 10 desktop. So that was a quick demonstration of uh, clustering in Tableau. I hope it proved useful. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact me. Uh, and thank you for watching.